Alright, welcome back. Uh, it has been a while since I last played. At the time of recording, today is what they're calling Day Zero of E3. Uh, you can see from my last screen here that I've been playing a little bit in between since the last time I recorded, and now I uh, managed to get, to get three stars in the 100cc Star Cup. I didn't try the Special Cup again, but I went through and I played a few more characters to unlock their stamps, and I also played a lot of Versus mode to uh, unlock a lot of car customizations. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a new character, uh, one that I haven't unlocked their stamp yet, and I think I got Yoshi. I don't know if I got Toad or not, so I'm going to go ahead and play as Toad. And with the last set of coins I got, I unlocked Off-Road Tires. But in general, I just like to play with the standard, normal set of tires and just the standard bike. So today I'm going to be going through the Shell Cup, which is the first set of retro courses. Uh, we've got Moo Moo Meadows there. Now it says it's from Mario Kart Wii, but I'm fairly certain that the one in Mario Kart Wii was a remake from Nintendo 64. Uh, we have the Game Boy Advance Mario Circuit, that's one that, prior to this game, I'd never played, as well as the Nintendo DS Cheap Cheap Beach. I never really got into the portable Mario Kart games, but I definitely know Nintendo 64 Toad's Turnpike, and I really feel like it's a lot different and a lot easier in this game. So I've been waiting to actually play, that, play it in a Grand Prix and complete it, so that I could record it for YouTube. So since then, my first couple of videos I was playing with the gyroscope controls on the Wii U gamepad, and since then I've switched over to the Wii U Pro Controller. Um, I just seem like I control a little bit tighter and there's fewer instances of me going to itch my face and staring into a wall. I also found out that there are varying levels of boost, and depending on when you press it, you can uh, get a really big boost if you time it just right, but if you pull it too early there, um, you'll burn out at the beginning, which is what I did. But, uh, shoot. The trick is you have to uh, press the gas while the two is still appearing, and you will get a boost big enough to pop a wheelie. Now, if you just press it a little bit later, you'll still get a boost, but it's not going to be as big of a boost. And I gotta remember now, I'm using the Pro Controller, so I have to press the uh, right trigger in order to jump. I, I still have a habit, since I played it so much for Mario Kart Wii, that uh, I still try to shake the controller. Now, I don't like playing as lighter characters. I like the middle range main character weights. It seems like, uh... I mean, th there's a reason why they're balanced in the middle. Something you can do there, you can actually boost off of the molehill, so if you see them coming up in front of you, make sure you jump. So, other than a bad start, this has been a fairly uneventful course, because everyone is uh, pretty far behind me right now, but uh, I have a feeling that's going to change. Seems like it's going to be okay. Almost lapped somebody. Wario. Wario is in the very far back. Okay, so that wasn't a bad start. I got my 15 points. Just need to get first place in the next couple races, and I'll three-star uh, the Shell Cup. Now something I like about this one, and I haven't seen it in any other 
game since the Super Nintendo one, except for this, is that they brought back oil slicks. I, I don't know why that they took them out of the game, so I pressed the uh, gas right there, and you can see I got the wheelie boost a little bit, so it's a little bit more than the normal boost, I believe. But uh, it's nice seeing that come back. Oh, I didn't even see the item he had. Something he hit me with. Now, something nice about this game is actually getting in close and stealing someone's mushroom. But I missed right there, and I don't feel like slowing down to try to take it. Well, that worked out. Okay, Waluigi, I am going to catch your tailwind. Go, thank you. Sometimes I feel like I drift too much. And you can kind of see since my last couple videos, um, for the most part, my skill level has uh, increased a little bit. Plus, I've played these courses a few times now in versus mode. Something weird that they changed with this version, and it, I mean, it is kind of weird. It seems like uh, in Mario Kart Wii, whenever you did uh, versus mode in with team races, you had a blue team and a red team, and you tried to. Uh, catch the higher part of the leaderboard and score more points for your entire team uh, for a set number of races. But one thing about it was uh, you could work together with your teammates and it wouldn't actually hurt you if you touched one of their items. Uh, since then they changed that. You can hit your teammates banana peels, they can hit you with attack items, and it's kind of odd that way, so you kind of you can sabotage your own team and try to get first place for yourself, or you can try not to, but it's just weird. Now, the the all-hitting items, like the lightning bolt and the squid, they only hit the members of the opposite team. They don't hit your team, but I don't know, it's, it's just odd. It's a, like a mixed implementation. Despite having played this a few times, I still haven't found shortcuts. Uh, there's only one that I've really seen uh, in the airport level, Sunshine Airport. You can ramp over the uh, baggage claim at the end, and uh, that will actually get you a little bit extra time. But for the most part, all the shortcuts are still new to me. Gotta avoid the banana peels there. Oh no! Lap 3, I have a sizable lead. I don't see myself losing this one. Yeah. 
So I tried to catch all of the uh, E3 announcements today, since uh, time of recording this is Monday, but uh, on the first day of the week of E3. There are a few games uh, that I'm excited about. Actually, I forgot that it started today. I thought it started tomorrow, but I guess that's just because I've been focusing on Nintendo's announcements. But uh, I caught the Microsoft one about midway through, uh, just in time to see uh, the new Halo Master Chief collection. So definitely excited about that, and uh, that might actually push me over the ledge to go out and get an Xbox One just because of that and getting to play the original four games in their original engines with full Xbox Live capabilities, plus the invitation to the Halo 5 beta in December, a month later. But there was that. There was also the new game from Playdead, uh, the people who made Limbo. Uh, I believe it's called Inside. I can't remember for sure if that's what it was called, but it definitely looked interesting, and I'm going to be sure to check it out. Um, there was one additional game that they announced that I was a complete surprise to me so far, is the continuation of the Crackdown series. And I tried that out for Xbox 360 when the first one launched. I'm pretty sure everyone tried it out uh, for the Halo 3 beta. That was pretty much the selling point of the first Crackdown. But the, the thing was, it was a really good game. It was really enjoyable. Now, I didn't catch Crackdown 2. I don't think it got quite as good of reviews, but uh, I, I just missed Crackdown 2 and didn't get to play it. But it, I'm kind of interested in the new entry in the series, just because I haven't played it in so long. I'm wondering um, what it'll be like. but I caught part of EA's conference. Um, I thought I heard something about the new Battlefront game, and that's pretty much the only thing EA has that I'm remotely interested in. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to catch some more news and maybe go on YouTube and look at that up specifically. But I, I caught, like, this second half of EA's presentation. Um, I can't remember if there was anything else in EA's that I thought was really interesting. I saw that they announced the beta access for the new Battlefield game, and I really thought that was kind of odd that they uh, basically made it cops and robbers, which doesn't really seem like Battlefield, but uh, I didn't hear whether that was the main game mode or if that was an additional new game mode, and that would make more sense, you know? Because, I mean, you've got, in other shooter games, you've got sometimes King of the Hill and Capture the Flag. And they're very odd compared to just regular deathmatch games. So, I mean, that would be kind of a welcome addition. I've never played a Battlefield game, but it, it seemed interesting to me. But I caught part of Ubisoft's. Um, in general, I mean, they're some of the biggest publishers in the game industry, but I just don't really play their games anymore, um, but I did see at the end of Ubisoft's conference that uh, they announced a new uh, Rainbow Six, and it seemed pretty fun. It, it, like, the demo that they had, now granted it was all pre-rendered stuff, or, or already arranged, like planned out and plotted, but it, it seemed like it might be a fun game. So I'll be watching those, and uh, I'll see what comes about from those. Uh, at the time of recording right now, we're about a half hour before Sony's conference, so I will be um, I'll be tuning into that and leave it open and just kind of check out what Tony, uh, what Sony has to say. I'll probably go back through uh, tomorrow and catch everyone's summaries of everything. But that's it. That's the Mario Kart 8 Shell Cup. Um, a couple couple good courses in there, and I, honestly, I haven't looked up what the rest of the courses are. So seeing whatever the next cup is going to be will be a surprise to me as well, the Banana Cup. And I did get three stars, so this is another Grand Prix completed on one difficulty. So I unlock a new character, I got some coins, so I unlock a new, um, new race car part. And I got the Toad stamp, so that, that is correct. I didn't finish a Grand Prix with Toad. 
So I can save that and uh, and post a Miiverse if I want to. I don't really do that much. At least with the stamps or whatever. I don't know, I might get bored and do it one day, but uh, it's just fun to collect them all. Okay, so that's it. Tune in another time, and I will be trying out the 100cc banana cup. Thanks for watching.